Thanks. You have hit everything. I've got out the windshield. My car is blown okay, up. Okay, in my it. defense. That's your fault. Um, and then you hit a car. You <laughs> T-bone someone else. You hit a pole that one time. You you want to talk about my driving? Yeah, absolutely. I'm... Here's what I'll say. You can talk about my driving all you want until you need me to bail your ass out, okay? Don't you worry. Well, you're going to need a bailout one day as well. I will. Damn right. But have some faith in me. Jesus. Yeah, I'd offer to drive, but I, I genuinely think you'd be blown away by my driving skills right now. I wouldn't. You would be blown away with my driving skills. In a good way or a bad way? Probably bad. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, you went yeah, camping for like, like a power week. Pole over to the left, I'd probably somehow hit that. I miss turning. I need to get tires for this car. Um, this spot. Oh, I've, oh my, I went urban like exploring around here. It was great. Boy, hear me out. Yeah. Fucking weird ass reverse fucking doors oh yeah i sat that door for like five minutes thinking it would open by the way you know i want to be upset but i'm just not surprised it's okay come on no no what fucking ladder what? nothing just go up the ladder i had the ladder first you pushed me no all right, hear me out. Okay. Moonshining, yeah? Yeah. Start putting stills all in here. You're blocked mm -hmm. off from the highway. No one ever comes here. Mm hmm There are so many spots you could go to hide shit here. There's all these walls here. Everything's blocked off. You couldn't see it from any angle unless you're up on the mountain, which at that point you mm -hmm. would still have a hard time. The smoke from the roof would just yeah. look like AC units. And oh. there's all this shit up here too, which you could easily crevice another little whatever in some of these spots. Maybe not this one here, but like this one over here. Mm -hmm. Like there's just all these little locations. Like this is fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's actually pretty decent. Oh. I also thought you could get through this door, but you can't. What the fuck? If you if you walk into it, you'll have the Ooh. urge to want to go in, but I just No no, it you, can't be Fox. You gotta you gotta This can't be bothered, you know. Okay, yeah. Pretty cool though. Yeah, that was sick up there. I think this is a good moonshine spot. I just don't think anyone would ever really know. Nah, we're gonna be good. Literally blown away. I mean, it's it, like, around for like moonshine spots and all that as well. So whenever I can get hold of him, who's that? Teddy. Oh, nice. Is is Lovesick still uh, still doing that no! stuff? How are you okay? Literally, how? I feel like I'm a zombie. Literally how? Oh. Dude, I couldn't even like laugh or smile. I was so shocked at the fact that she just did that. You have to like... Dude, you have to try to do that. Like, that's not something you just do by act. You have to, like, work hard and be dedicated to do that. That's like a, that's like a skill. Where are you at? Oh, you look fucked up. I feel like I'm a zombie almost. Hey. Just some just a I feel like I think I look like a zombie. My makeup's fucked. Yeah. And you, there's blood all over my cut. You look really uh you know, Rue? 
you look awful as shit. At least your hair didn't get messed up, right? I think I did my lip. Um, yeah, you know, we should, we should, I'll tell you what, we're gonna go, we're gonna go get you something to eat. Have a bandage, right? Maybe we'll go sit down. How about that? Well, let's, let's, let's go sit down. Is this normal? Mm, no. Uh huh. Uh, hey, Balto. It uh, is so good to hear from you. Can I call you right back? My daughter just jumped off a roof. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah. Give me one second. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that is, um, yeah. Uh, so what did we learn? I can't lift my left arm. Right, your pinky. Oh my fucking God. If you're a serial killer, I don't fucking care right now. What? I ain't no silly killer, boy. I'm just I'm trying to give you some friendly advice. Friendly advice, okay. Yeah, you got to ass like corrugated metal. You need to get your cake game up. You want to get my cake game up? I I don't know. God, I'm just saying, work out or something. Go to a baking class. I don't know, but you a cake pop got more curves than you. S sir, are you trying to fuck me over the phone? I'm not offering you a feeling. I'm just saying. Let me give you a suggestion, okay? Um, Take this, f whatever you're calling me from. Uh, which, which hole did you guys go down in? Um, rub your balls on him. I'm and sir, imagine I'm not... my face, okay? I'm not trying to get off, sir. Then what are you trying to get on, sir? I'm, try I'm trying to oh. help the world get their game, cake game up. My, my cake game up? Mm-hmm. My ass is so fat, Sad. Mount Chiliad doesn't even Hello. hold a candle. Honestly, it looked like I walked into it to Home Depot and took a ride. <laughs> that was good. Right. I'm saying lumber. That's all mm. I see. Yeah. I had to see it That's the problem. What I may lack in cake, I definitely don't lack in lumber. I feel like shit. Oh god. You're gonna need to We're carry having... at least three I, sessions of I that to get it out the door. Like, you may want to start lifting said, weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll tell you yeah. what, you want to give me cake advice? Nice I'll give you some wood advice, it's okay? That back in oh. position. I bit my lip. I'm, so I'm, my, I'm, I'm fine. Let me, my let me tell you, when, I don't, you, when I don't, you go to the urinal and you need to take a piss, you gotta put your foot up Oh. on the urinal and start pulling up your pant leg because when it's easier to reach from down there you know that you got something good going on okay building. i can give you some friendly advice how to heck how to get building. to that point okay for the low I price of a thousand dollars a month i could give you the advice on how to grow your go. lumber by at least 12 inches in the first 60 days uh, you, your ass look like fondant my ass looks like fondue fondant where was Flop? See, so you need a baking class. You don't know what fondant is. I'm on the phone. I'm talking to, I think, a serial killer. From an anonymous no, number. I think they want to eat my ass or something. <laughs> Just hang up on them. Hang. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up ridiculous. first. This is sad. All right. What's up? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Oh, I had an anonymous number call me and I said, if you're a serial killer, hang the fuck up. I don't have time for this right now. And someone said that I need, they, they wanted to work on my cake game. And I told them that, no. yeah. And then they said, you know, if you need help with your cake game, I, I said, I said, honestly, it sounds like, uh, I, I said, my cake is fine. Chilia doesn't stand a chance. And his response was, you look like you walked into a Home Depot and took a right. In which I said, what? the lumber area i said if you need lumber advice i could help you with that too and i started giving him some very distasteful advice about lumber and how to grow your lumber in the first 60 days with these simple tricks for a thousand dollars a month 
And then he got weirded out and he hung up. Okay. Okay. How did Rue get on top of her roof? I was showing her spots to uh, spots I think would be good for moonshining, just spots that I found. And uh, Rue missed the ladder and uh, went kaput. Wasn't knocked out, just kaput. Uh, one, uh, actually, let me call you. Let me call you. Why can't I be set up a radio? I don't know. I feel like I'm about to get scolded, though. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Hello, what's up? Um, it's not really a, like an order or anything. It's just, I don't know. I just be mindful about the whole moonshine thing. You know, she's an alcoholic, blah, blah, blah. I have no interest in doing moonshining. Actually moonshining? Yeah, no. I, like, oh, this is cool. Yeah, I, 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 I have no interest. It was more of a, I drive around and I just know random weird locations. And honestly, if anyone in the club needs help finding a location for stills, I have a couple good spots. So I was just kind of okay. driving around, yeah, but. Show. Definitely show Sophie and loves her. Okay. Things, yeah. yeah, definitely. They'll be told you that. Did you say that you were going into uh, the, the sewers? I was, but then like I was going to join you guys, but you guys are, are up here, I guess. Wait, where? I don't know. You guys are falling off buildings. So I guess you're not in the sewers. I am back by the block now. We I, I drove her to the hospital because she uh, her pinky was dislocated. Her face looks a little fucked up. I can't tell if it did before, but it, it looks better now. <laughs> yeah, she was doing good there for a while. I'm not getting I hurt all the time, but now she's getting hurt all the time again. What do you mean you can't feel your face? It's numb. <sighs> oh my God. Did they give you something? I had to you get like taking her to high places. Like, just put her a bubble, right honestly. What? <laughs> Tally, what did you just say? Just put her in a bubble. Like she cannot I... take her high places. Hold on. I need to get out of this. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I, uh, I, I'm not. Bro, just, just stay put for a second. I thought you just said put her in a butthole. A put her in a bubble. <laughs> what? You were doing so good, bro. not getting hurt all the time, and now you're getting hurt all the time again. Stop. Yeah. You, uh. You know. You need to go lay down. You look like a marshmallow. No. I I don't know. You want some do stale marshmallows? No, you're supposed to get rid of those. Wait, Tally, you want to go in the sewers? Wait, Tally, you want to go in the sewers? No. Fuck, I have to go acclimate and I want to scream. I hate it down there. Who's being impossible? Bye. What do you mean? She, she looks. No, you're, you keep getting yourself hurt and then you act like nothing's wrong. Uh, and then, but you, you look like uh. shit. I'm fine. In in Rue's defense, I'm not defending the fact that she absolutely overshot a ladder and I cannot figure out for the life of me how she did it. She fell from like an eight story building and somehow did not get more like I'm impressed that she was able to walk. She I was standing. She, she's not Oh my god. Oh. Rue, if you have to pull a gun on somebody, what is that gonna sound like? Uh, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> what? No, you, you you gotta say something. Ooh, you need to go back Watch to the hospital. Don't go back to the hospital, Rue. Mm -hmm. I'm not babysitting. I'm not babysitting. I'm not babysitting. I'm an adult. My face is just numb. What they give you? Hmm. Why is there a beer? This would be numb for a this. bit. What what they what they what they like? I don't know. Just be like here you go, I'm gonna be numb for you beating your face, so we can stitch it up. I'm like, okay, cool. Did that hurt? I uh, no. Was it Novocaine? I don't fucking know. Apparently, they numb the side of her face for stitches, Tally. I mean, yeah. I don't feel that either. Yeah, you look, uh, you look like a bubble. Yeah, that's fine. 
Last of Us when? Fuck, dude. I don't know. I was actually having a good time today. Role play has been a lot of fun. Is Anya around or something? Yeah, Anya's here. Oh, Anya was around. I don't yeah, know if she's still around. Go, go, go be do gentle things with Anya. Ex what? Gentle thing? Gentle things? I'm sorry. Excuse me. I don't want to date her. Thank you. Is that like foreplay? You don't want to date her? Does she know that? Oh. I don't I, know. I should be asking these questions. You're my daughter. I. What's up, Jared? How you doing, brother? He's good to ask anyone if they're dating someone. <laughs> well, I, I, I did just kind of blatantly ask, is that like foreplay? And I just realized who I'm asking that in regards to. So I'm going to refrain from that question and retract that one. She thinks I tell the truth all the time. Who, Anya? Yeah, I have straight up lied to her multiple times. That's good. Lying is healthy. <laughs> Lying keeps a relationship going. <laughs> so I sent her that I'm interested in her now. No. Did you tell her that? No. Uh well, so Why would you tell her that if you don't feel that way? I didn't tell her that. Don't. I just don't I just lie, asked by if the you way. just. Yeah. I asked if you just tell her that you say so. Yeah. Or I took it as yeah. Yeah. So you you didn't Jared, tell her that work, you brother? didn't believe her. How'd it nah. go? Are you saying no? You didn't. Damn! Say wait, there's a bunch of you in the fucking Discord. Shit! Yeah, no. Shit! It's late. What the <sighs> fuck? Nah. I'm sorry, what happened? I zoned out. What? What? I'm trying to figure out. I'm confused. <laughs> blue. Sorry, not blue. Fucking blue. You know what? That's your I'm, personal life. I'm trying to figure out how to. I don't know if I. Are you trying to find out if Rue has a thing for Anya? She doesn't have a thing for Anya. I'm trying to figure out if she told Anya she has a thing for her. Did you ever tell Anya that you would tongue punch her fart box? Ew. <laughs> no, should I? No! No, 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 no. Do not ever. Do not ever. Do not ever text that. Say it. None of that. Please do not. Don't ever. Don't yes, ever say that. To. Please, Jesus Christ, don't do not do what? She can have sex with someone and not be in love with them. It's totally fine. It's no. the difference of like, as long as Anya knows, You've what? Anya knows I... what's going on. No. Oh. Get back here. Flop. Oh, I'm on the way. I know you adopted her, but you're both just prone to pain. I don't understand. I just you're prone to pain. I don't know. You I think do... everyone's prone to pain. I'm just emotional pain. That's all. Yeah. Why? I don't know what I try to do here. Flop, stop being so uh, about your daughter having sex with people. She's a grown woman. You talk about I, having sex with Ziggy all the time. I agree. But I don't say it in sex. front of Rue. Yes, well, you do all the time. Rue, do I say it in front of you all the time? All the time. Yeah, and then I run off crying. Just like you did, just said. Yeah. And my argument is- I hate it here. Sex is a natural thing. I hate it here because it involves me. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to grow people's maturity around sex. That's all. Rue, you can fart punch a you, yeah, box you, all you want. You can karate kick a box with your tongue what, whenever you want, so long as the other party wants it. But what I'm not okay with is you emotionally stringing this poor girl along. Am I? I, think I don't I know. Am. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I think I am. You don't think you are? Nah. Did she? Have you made it clear that you don't have a relationship with her? 
No, I'm talking about I don't want a relationship. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Okay. But she's insisting on it, or she's like, like, oh, I can change her. She's, you know. Well. <clears throat> oh, God. Pardon by reading ahead of time. Yeah, go ahead. No, you get. Let me just swap. Ago. This is your girlfriend, I'm not your daughter. Assuming You're you don't have. Fuck. You'd... Fuck. Hang on. <clears throat> I'm assuming you don't have service while you are out camping. So you will see this when you are back from your trip. I really hope your trip goes well. Also, thank you for all the fun times we have had. Honestly, with what you have helped me achieve so far, I feel like I have found a purpose and I can't thank you enough. Oh no. I never thought getting to know anyone help would help. Hang on. Words. Alright, I... Fuck, where was I? Uh, I never thought getting to know anyone would help me feel this welcomed and joyful in life again. Honestly, Rue, thank you so much. Yeah. You are so beautiful and I enjoy being around you whenever you have the time. Also, I just wanted to make sure you know that you are one of the nicest people I have met and I feel... I feel was be... And I feel was being genuine with me. Uh, 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 it, you have never not been honest about things I have asked about. Now, I don't mean honest as telling me everything, but just acknowledging something and then moving past it because it isn't something you want to talk about. I really don't mind. I hope we get to keep hanging out and that. You have helped me keep my head screwed on through a lot of shit, and I hope I can do something Chemical, like that Chemical, thank you for the two years. Can we get some hearts point. and chaps, please? After you are back from your trip, I would like thank to organize you, a time you. for us to hang out. That is something you'd be okay with. So she wants to date. Maybe. Not so everybody. Plenty of hearts. Can you repeat all that? I wasn't paying attention. No, do not repeat all that. She just likes her. <clears throat> Wait, oh you like her? Oh my god! No, no I'm saying Anya uh, likes Rue. Oh. Yeah. Ew. I mean, oh, that's sweet. What I don't like, and I don't, I don't understand this, right? Can I ask I mean, you a quick question? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, oh, Rue. Yeah, I, uh -huh. I'm, I'm not talking. That's, uh, go, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, uh -huh. I'm sorry. It, it, it was relevant. I'm, I'm sorry, but it, it's. It, it can wait. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> go tell him. Go tell him. Sorry. What happened again? I promise. Um, I don't understand. Like, you keep my head screwed on. Like, why can't you just keep your own head screwed on? Why do I don't understand people's need to keep fixing each other? Like, I am not your keeper. Like, you need to sort your own shit out, please. That's the only thing I have to say about that. Well, like, yeah, she's cute, but everyone, I. I've been with is it's gone south. It's gone very south. And I don't wanna go through that again. By that I mean I try to kill one of my exes and blow up his car and then another one uh I kinda cheated on her. Um Yeah. Hold on. You know, it's okay. Yeah. Almost got her killed. Um, but yeah. God, you know, this just reminds me, this just makes me so sad because there's going to be a day where I don't know what's going to happen. If something happens to like Edbert and Fiona, I'm going to be pissed. Because <laughs> you got to put up with it. No, because oh. I'm pretty sure that's just gonna crush his whole heart, and I don't want that to happen. Mm. I, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. Um, yeah, I just it's, worry. I just, it's not a dick pick. It's just this a, is why I just fuck around, even though I want a relationship really bad. 
It is uh, men suck, women suck, relationships suck. Stop dating each other, but at the same time, please destroy every one of my holes. Thank you. Um, can I get flirting advice? Sure. I texted Ziggy. I said, yeah. I want to climb you like a tree because you and trees have a lot in common. You both seem to be in each other a lot. What's the last part? I don't understand the last part. Say it again. I said, because you both seem to be in each other a lot. Why is he in a tree? Because he crashes all the fucking time. Oh. I wish I was the tree. <laughs> you ask politely. Please crash into me. I have no idea how I'm functioning. I think I need to go to sleep. Yeah, what happened? Probably. How are you like? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. I think I'm just kind of like at that delusional point of tired, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope Ziggy just sees it and is like, what the fuck is this? <gasps> How long have you been awake, Rue? Uh, oh, God. Um. The fact that you don't remember is what's concerning me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, who's that? Is your car fixed? Who's what? Where? Uh, hang on. It's JT. It's JT? I was gonna say hi, JT, JT, but I need to go to bed. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. JT! Cruise around. Alright. Hey! I can't hear you, but hi! Why are you staying all the way over there? Did you... What did you say? He sleeps in the, in the bar. Oh. What's up? Benny sleeps in there too. Is he a snorer? Benny? Benny? He's like a snorer. Benny's definitely a snorer. Definitely. Full on, mouth open. Benny's like... Knee inch or tall. Benny's the kind of club member you like put a drop of like lime or lemon juice in his mouth while his mouth is open while he's sleeping why would you do that because it's do? funny it's sour fucks with him flop is horny misses his husband no it's not horny flop just misses ziggy people say they're gonna be awake but they're not awake League of Legends ruined everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Well, let's go back in the sewer. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to go steal a car from a house that I live in. Okay. I fucking hate the sewers. I know. I don't even want to go down there right now. I just... <sighs> Tally, nothing is more miserable to me than being in the fucking sewers right now. I was down there for six and a half hours. <laughs> that guy wants to sell me a goddamn stop sign. Cutie! It was the last time you checked. With the raid. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, the other day, I was miserable. I was looking through everything and it was terrible. And it was fine. I don't know. Thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody. I'm Chris. I play oh, flop. How we doing? Hope we're doing well. What's good? What the hell are Back we all up day, to? We had to make sure we were in and out. Yeah, I just want to be able to buy this fucking thing so I can make payments. And I just, I'm, I don't have a fucking, I don't have a thing. <laughs> Nothing makes me feel, oh, it's a fucking, I don't want to do it. Do What's it. up, Kayla? How are you? I think I have a... I think I have a crowbar yeah. in Rue's house, I think. Let me okay. let me check. I don't have a crowbar, though. So. Yeah. Yo, what's up? 
You're a you're a um a hanger on, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um if you have questions or anything about like club culture and shit, then just uh let me know. I'll be awake. Yeah, of Maybe course. later when you're actually awake, not when I just woke up. No, no, you're good. I I, I got you. I uh yeah, I'm I was gonna talk to you about that. I know you were asking me some questions before, but uh absolutely. I absolutely well, will. Uh oh. I really don't. I don't want to go in the sewers, JT. I mean, you could always just pay your dues, but Seth go in the sewers. Ugh, I fucking hate acclimating down there, though, because it's just I was down there for six and a half hours consistent, and the most that guy wants to sell me is a fucking stop sign. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It is what it is. I, I do appreciate it, though. I, I will. I will keep that in mind. All right. Well, I need to go Mirror Park, and I don't know whose house this is, but I'm gonna go take that, anyways. All right. Um. All right, I will see you later. Bye. Sounds good, brother. I'll talk All to you right. soon. Bye-bye. Oh, JT. Little tired guy. The JT one. He was just calling me. He said if, if I ever have any questions that... Just literally whenever. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. No fucking... Do you have any questions right now? Oh, I... Not really, no. I'm uh, I'm still doing my thing. Honestly, the only question I have is when the cop asked me what happened to me, I, I fed him, I mean, bullshit. I mean, I, I didn't give him anything other than that they took me, which is not untrue, you know? How are y'all doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Soot. Uh, cutie, thank you. Go get some so, sleep. Uh, the only thing you don't tell him is, like, who took you if you knew. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, it's, like, really depending on who you ask, right? Because I have a different philosophy than I think most people have. I don't freak out about being kidnapped. No, I, I understand. It's kind of like, to me, it's kind of like criminal jury duty. You know what I mean? There's I mean, so few civs around and stuff like that. Where it's like, you know, if I get held up to go do, like, I need you guys uh, out. I need ugh. you as a hostage for this thing. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I get it. And we're back in the sewers, goddammit. How you all doing today? What's going on? Oh, this is not the time for people to say that. This better be a car. Hello, Flap your gong. Hey, um, I'm sorry to bother you. I, I just need a, a little help with my uh, my vehicle if you're able. Uh, so I get, give me pointers. No, oh, uh, pointers in terms of, uh, in, in, in terms of what, what's going on? Well, I bought uh, a vehicle like a little bit ago, and I don't know if parts the deteriorate or not, but I had it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I had it where oh, you're like the third, fourth person I called. Everyone else was busy, so I'm like, oh my gosh. I am also very <laughs> busy, but I can talk on the phone briefly. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, you're, but, you're uh, okay. What's up? But uh, I had bought a uh, automatic kit for my vehicle and all of a sudden it's uh, manual. I don't know if I pressed a muscle a or something. I don't know when I've- How long you know, ago did you, did you, uh, what do you call it? Did you- Purchase the, uh, the vehicle and it's the, been, it's been a couple months. Oh, yeah. well the same time I purchased the vehicle, which is like about four or five months. Oh, good. Ago. So, the issue is you're going to have to get a new one because uh, the transmissions are made like shit nowadays and they slowly deteriorate oh, over time. Yeah. Oh, great. I didn't know. I didn't know. I apologize for no, bothering no. you. No, no. You're all good. No, <laughs> you, you had no idea. You had a question. I'm just glad I was able to help out. Great. So now I got to find someone that's around Mosley's or something to fix help. <laughs> yeah, all good. Uh, yeah, if, uh, if I happen to not be around i know there's other people around uh i know terry was advertising so was anya i don't know if they're around but they work at milton's mods they may be able to help you out okay i apologize for interrupting your busyness and uh, thank no you for thing. answering my question absolutely not a problem you take care and have an amazing day thank you you too bye bye <laughs> bye bye you seem nice where are we going uh, I was gonna go to my usual spot. That it's it's nice and tidy. I've never been this way. Off. No, you're fine. This is how you get to Shine Town. Ooh, ooh. No idea. 
What are you checking for? No, uh, there's nobody's. I hate the sewers. I hate it down here. I don't want to be down here. I hate it. It's, it's just, it's just a lot of this. You're looking at it. You're fucking seeing it live. This is it. Sorry. I'm, I'm like stopping okay. and grabbing stuff as we go. This just, area is my this I area just, right here is nice. Yeah. I just want to get the fuck out of here. I hate it down here. I know. Okay. So here's the rotate. Show you the rotate. You start here. With these bags. You pop over. Here. It's just here. it's just a grind. Like it just. Pop over again. This little baggy here, and then back over here. Okay, cool. That's the rotation. At least once the grind is done, it's done. It, you know what the problem yeah, is? It it's to, literally a grind, and I don't like grinding. You can either There's just a reason say I don't push weed or anything, or do what you did, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Or come up with some fanciful story. It just depends how. You know who it is if you have time to fucking deal with it for payment dues no 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 oh I'm just, sorry i'm at the cops but you tell the cops oh yeah yeah i i i just i literally just said they took me and then i repeated it eight yeah. times and then they asked if i had an id and i said no yeah, and, they, and then they say get the fuck out of here yeah being in the sewer exactly i don't know things no you're all good um Put simply, uh, you need to be in the sewers and you need to acclimate down here for a certain time period so you could buy certain items. The longer you're down here, the more you're able to buy, which is just no, miserable. As long as the cops and, you know, your, your, your hostage takers aren't assholes, it should be fine. Yeah. I've never had a problem with being, like, taken hostage. Yeah, I don't want to say that I have had enjoyable experiences, but I've definitely had very tame experiences. Mine have all been fun. I can respect that. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's just, I, I was down here the other day and I, I even was off stream down of here animals. and it was like six hours and it's just a fucking grind and I hate it. Everyone's like, oh, you only have to do it once. This I, I almost want to do this off stream. It's terrible. Ugh. I know, I know Rue was scared for you. There's like, I don't know if she, I don't, I don't want to say scared. She, she'll never be like fine with people holding the gun up to you or anything in space. I mean, to be fair, I like, if it's someone that I know, mm -hmm. I'm, I, I, I'm, yeah, of course I'm going to be a little concerned. You know what I mean? Like I, 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 I get that much. Maybe I, I'm just desensitized. I don't know. It just, it doesn't bother me. What's up, Spoon? How you doing? This could, this, this could have been the last of us. I'm oh. not. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I really am just like, just this is, I, I, I just don't fear death. No, I'm not scared of it. You know what I'm scared of? I'm not actually scared of being taken hostage. I'm scared of the police having the faith and confidence to do their job correctly. Because the problem is that if the cops don't do their job directly, you know how to uh, stop something from happening. You, you, you know, you, you, <laughs> That could be my life. And the problem is that I don't trust the police department. There's a reason I left. So I, I guess I guess mine's a little bit more of like a personal grudge. It's not the people. It's the people that are going to be, yeah. quote unquote, helping me. Fuck that's The Last okay, of Us. Boy. Why do you not like that's The Last what, of Us? What, um... And then talking about canned chicken and mayo and grilled cheese. What you said about like, you it's know, all just... the hostages that she's taking. She's like had to shoot a couple of them because the cops. I've seen it happen. And it's it's. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. It's terrible. Hmm. Hey, you should go to Loser Fruits Instagram and scroll to the third or fourth photo. I don't actually have Instagram. But that's what happens if you just don't give a shit. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's maybe it's just a me thing. I don't know. No, you're fine. No, you're fine. Uh, would would you be able to post it? Is it is it is it a photo of me? Oh, it's you're crazy on it. Because like I. I've Somebody so get me death. this photo. I just I don't I don't have Instagram. Can someone post the link in my di my Discord or something so I can see it? What'd you say? I'm so sorry. I just like, I've experienced so much death that sometimes I just forget that they happen. 
not that I ever forgot. It's just like it's so in the back of my mind about things. Yeah. Like, to me, Jesse isn't dead. She's just not around right now, you know? Hmm. I get that. Yeah. Dude, I think it's so funny how many people, like... No, I recognize she is dead. I'm not trying to say that she's alive. It's just that when I don't think about it, she's just not awake right now. Oh. She hasn't been texting me back, which is really fucking rude. <laughs> but I know she's passed away. It's sure. Just, I don't know. The brutality of her death. I bet it's JJ holding it. Linger on me. Oh, yeah. Dude, I made it. I'm there. That's fucking sick. You know what's funny? I, I didn't even know who Loser Fruit was prior to. Yeah, I don't know. I, um... I don't even know how to like really like explain it. I'm just so uh I'm so used to a, a shitty cycle that yeah, I'm desensitized to just knowing sort of the, the waves and the emotions all at once. Mm -hmm. Uh but it still doesn't change the fact that if it's someone that I know I've seen people shoot for literally nothing and it's <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they, they have something they want. They want to get the job done. But I know that people in the past... I, I've, I've had to breach... You know, my... Do you want to know my first day as a sergeant many years ago? Sure. Um... My first day as a sergeant, I got a call up north. And everybody's like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, I'm on the way. And someone's like, do we have command? And I said, yep, I'm here. And I didn't know what I was doing. I was a little fucked up because I was a little nervous about like, hey, how is this going to go? I definitely like, I fumbled the bag. Mm -hmm. But Dundee had kidnapped somebody and it was up north at Toledo up at the power plants. It used to be up there. And he's like, we're just going to move this hostage to another power plant. And I was like, no, you're not. And he moved them. And I said, listen, I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to let you get in your car and you're going to leave Polito. Not going to chase you. Nothing. I, I said, I said, we'll have three cops chase you. R Ripley helped me with this. He said, we're going to have three cops. They're going to chase you. Just don't come back to Polito. Okay. Just get the fuck out of here. He goes, okay. So he delays the time. He's on the phone. He's on radio. And we're like, how much time do you need? What's going on? And then what he does is in the time that we said, leave Polito, leave the hostage. He grabs somebody on the radio to go grab another hostage and bring him up to uh, Polito Bank. So they leave the, the power grid, like whatever it is, on the outskirts of Polito. And he drives right to the bank to start up another robbery. Now, our agreement in negotiations was you leave Polito. Mm -hmm. And... In that time, he failed to listen to negotiations. And at this point, he has now moved the same hostage to two different locations, which we do not do. And then failed to, he broke the agreement we had to go to the Polito Bank to then start robbing that. And at this point, 45 minutes have gone by. And I literally had to, my first day as a sergeant, make the call. Units get ready to breach. And I we literally had to breach in and fucking shoot everybody because they they failed to uphold the agreement otherwise people would just abuse the hostage situation over and over and over again and they would just use the same hostage to chain rob a bunch of banks right oh i balto calling me i forgot oh my god yeah let me see hey what's up balto how you doing uh you know alive <laughs> yeah it's good to hear from you what's going on Hey, where's a good place yeah, to store? Like kid. He's like 10 years hmm. old. Where's a good place to store some skin? Skin? Yeah. A van? Human? Um. I guess I'm gonna ask for trophy reasons. Who's? Fortes. Oh, you heard. Heard what? I heard that he was a cop again. 
Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, that was the reason. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, Forte, uh, Forte is a pretty religious flaking fuck from my experience. I, yeah, we told him, you know, he, the world's your oyster except this one thing. He did the one thing. So I told him, you know, I'm like, I warned you. I, uh... He was surprisingly understanding of being skinned alive and left for dead. Yeah, well, he told me he was trying to get back to the PD, and I'm like, oh, wow, that's really cool anyway. Uh, and I moved on, <laughs> and I heard today from somebody that apparently, uh... I, I forget who mentioned it to me, but it was mentioned to me that, uh... It... Yeah, he, he no longer... Hello. He no longer... I have calls. Yeah, it was uh, like it's, uh, here's the thing. If Neon Tigers as a whole had shut down and not just the chapter, like the organization still exists, we're just moving, and mm. he understood that it wouldn't be such a big deal. But we told him straight up, "You're still a tiger. You're just a nomad now." But Anybody that walks into the people. life know the agreement, and if they don't, that's on them. Like I said, he was understanding. Like, he ended up coming to me uh, after our conversation uh, to have it done. I'll so be right back. I okay. can't fault him that at least. Everything okay? I just gotta get the uh, cooks to someone. All good. Do you need my crowbar? Bitch. What'd you say? It's, a, it's open. I'm fine. Okay, cool. What's up? What's going on, Balto? Sorry, I hit a local and I was mad. Oh yeah. <laughs> um yeah, I I can't be too surprised by Forte. Uh I hate to say it, but somebody gave me the best sound advice ever. They said you always have the option to go back to the PD if you ever chose to. They said that if you ever do though, realize that your trust with anybody that is ever confident with you this point forward, if you go back, you're going to break every single person's trust and you'll never be trusted with anybody ever again. This is a one way while you can go back, this is a one-way street. Yeah, and it's... once someone told me that, I, I realized the severity of the situation I was in, and I said, oh, I get it. Okay. It is it is sound advice. Yeah, it was the best advice, and it was from somebody who used to be a cop. But, I mean, like I said, I'll, I'll give him that. He understood, and he didn't fight it, so... You guys you gonna know, hunt him? He, it's already done. I have the skin. You skinned him already? Yeah. Like whole or like? Just... Uh, so when he got blooded in, I carved a tiger into his back and I told him if he ever betrayed us, I would take it back from him. Uh, and he did. So I did. Oh. You know, I am nothing else if not a man of my word. You should probably, I mean, honestly, from my experience, uh, usually, so skin typically, I don't say melts but skin can lose its cells it, when it's you burn it gammy. yeah if you burn it uh it'll still kind of leave like a little bit of a layer but i'd say well, probably we want to get rid of it we want to turn it into a decoration uh oh. as a warning for future prospects but do you have desiccant? we're in the process of i don't that's what i need we're put it, so put it in, a, in a container with desiccant and it'll literally rip all the moisture out of it and it would essentially be as brittle as beef jerky Take epoxy, put it in a container that you can pour epoxy in, and then have an epoxy resin all piece with the skin. Oh, bless up. We were going to turn it into leather, but I was trying to figure out how to preserve the scarring and the tattoos. Hmm. Also, human leather doesn't, your human skin doesn't make leather quite the way that, you know, cow skin does. Yeah, it, we, we have very thin skin compared to most animals, and it does not exactly hold up, so... Well, I just need a place to store it for the time being because we're we're renting the house out because we're all preparing to leave for the new city. So, oh, uh, the new? Oh, flop. That's right. I haven't had a fucking chance to talk to you because I kept missing you, and then you all you all left for the damn Dang. big concert celebration thing, and then you we just we should catch up. <laughs> so I have news. Oh boy! Like good news. Uh, news of a rather neutral nature, depending. 
Okay. I mean, I got time right now. I'm just, I can't leave where I'm at right now. I could talk as long as you want. I can come to you. Let me come to, let me finish selling my shit at the fence. And where are you? Uh, I'm in the sewers. If you ask me where I'm at, <laughs> I couldn't fucking tell you right now. I wouldn't be able to find you. Um, you're doing, you're doing the thing, aren't you? I need to acclimate. I fucking hate it down yeah, here. Yeah, I need to as well, but I'm, it's too late at night for me to do uh, it today. This is miserable. I would honestly, there's so many better things I'd rather do with my life than be down here. I just, <laughs> I was down here for six and a half hours and I, I, it's barely good enough. I told someone and they were like, you have another eight at least. And I was like, I don't want to be down here anymore. I literally don't care. I, yeah, I'm Tell literally me. dreading. I'm literally dreading the days. And here's the thing: I don't really need to, but I kind of want to, mm -hmm. just so it's done. But okay, we'll we'll talk on the phone then, because I'm I'm not coming down to the sewers yeah, to no, find you. I love you, but <laughs> you're good. Uh, so yeah. Um, I don't know if you got the memo, but about. I want to say almost a month and a half ago now, maybe even two months, mm -hmm. uh, we made the decision on an organizational level to disband. I knew that this much. Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, and so the organization met and we decided whether we were going to return to home base in Germany or if we were going to try and go somewhere else. And it was decided that we were going to try a new city. Okay. We're, uh, we're going uh, to that black and white city. Got it. Uh, so I will be leaving with them at the end of the month uh, to help them get established. And I will probably I'm gonna try and be around because I still have your fucking wedding to plan. <laughs> well, I won't be going anywhere. I'll still be around. Um... But yeah, no, I mean, I, 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 I can't say I, I, I blame you. Honestly, sometimes, and I, I, I tell people, and it's true, sometimes people think that, you know, I don't say their lives are uninteresting, but sometimes people think that where, where they live is, is just not working out for a multitude of reasons. Here's but sometimes changing your environment can completely change your perspective on things. Well, here's the argument I made. It's not that the city is necessarily bad rather we just grew in two different ways the tigers That's grew fair. in a different way than the city and the city grew in a different way than the tigers mm -hmm. yeah that's that's all it really boils down to in the end sure i mean i i don't i don't think it's anything deeper than that i mean i i i, I think you guys had good intention with your reasons like we've always been like the whole point of the tiger was pet you know petty crime drugs and parties mm -hmm. and that's that was it you know so, and that's just, that's just not really an option here. That's fair. Like, I, have you heard about the, the car maintenance prices, Flom? Oh, don't even get me started. A hundred to 300 K every month, give or take. Wait, for what? So for full like proper to be to be completely transparent this is for like racing parts and shit yeah but like uh to keep and maintain a a racing car it can be anywhere between a hundred and three hundred thousand dollars depending i just sold a brake kit to a cop for twenty two thousand dollars today that that's exactly it i i heard there were these slick tires that were going for almost 120 a pop a tire for a set of four of for a set of four sorry oh yeah that that sounds about right like 120 dollars a month for tires that's disgusting like that's just not sustainable yeah economically it is it is insane it's it's actually wild so i i get you on that front like I said, it, the city's not a bad place. No, it's of just course not. I, I fully understand what, what you're saying. Yeah. Listen, you guys grew and you did what you did what you did, and the way you grew wasn't, you know, vertical. Some of you uh, grew outward in other ways, and you know, the the, the club itself just I I, I, I get it. I mean it, it it's maybe call it a growing pain, maybe not, whatever you want to call it though. I I, I definitely yeah. don't think it was anything negative. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, no. And I and I think the the new city will be good.
Sure. I think we're taking about 14 people all told. Holy shit. Um, so we have one more temple to hammer out the the last of the the doings before I pack everyone off to the new city. Mm -hmm. And then I need to figure out what I need to do with my life, Flop. I'm have it's my turn to have the crisis of faith. <laughs> Tell you what, it's been a lot nicer. Sometimes, well, you know what I say that I, I I don't know how confident I can say that out loud. It, some days are really like I I don't use this word sparingly ever, uh, but I mean it this time. Uh, some days are really quiet. You know what I mean? It's just like that sometimes. So yeah. outside of those days, it's it's uh, it's yeah, it, it's been not. Uh, it's been good. You're going to have time, and that's what matters the most. Yeah, but now I need to figure out what I do with myself, Flop. Like, I'm still, I still have people here, right? I still have important people. I sure. have you, Ziggy, Rue, Veronica. You know, even ADMC has begun to grow on me uh, pretty significantly. Mm -hmm. um, but where do I fit in on all that? That's up to you. That's something I, I will I will never steer anybody in a, in a direction to make them feel a certain way. Uh, yeah, that's that's my current crisis. Is it, I am old flop, and I'm I'm not saying that as a oh I'm trying to brush something you know under the rug or oh I'm making fun of myself. It's it is a fact. I'm old. I'm going to hmm. be 55 in two months. Yeah. By Los Santos standards, that's an ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I'm old, I can't use a gun, and I don't live here full time. I'll, you know, stalk and torture a bitch just as well as anybody, but unfortunately in the current climate, my inability to use a gun kind of really limits what I have access to. Sure. I get that. So, and I'm going to be a little vulnerable here because you're my basically brother at this point, but I have always belonged to something or somebody mm -hmm. and now i don't and i'm alone and i don't like it <laughs> it's not an unnatural feeling though when you're constantly surrounded by a group whether that be you know in your case ems neon tigers right you look at you look at where I was, it was, you know, early on, it was, it was friends. I, I made along the way it, it became, you know, EMS and it became police. Then I thought it would become nothing. And I was very fortunate to still have a sense of purpose, but I know not everybody gets to have that sense of purpose. So I, I understand your feeling. It's not an unnatural feeling. It's actually a very like regular thing to feel. It, it, it sucks. Yeah. And I'm I'm also aware that the next bit that I'm about to say is not necessarily healthy, mm -hmm. but for the longest time, so much of my self worth has been based off of being useful, mm -hmm. being helpful. I get that, but I don't have I don't have people to do that for anymore. And it, and for 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 a lot of that, it's not a bad thing. You guys are moving on into your lives. You know, you're surrounding yourselves with people who can help you on the day to day. That's mm -hmm. a good thing. Never, never assume that just because I'm struggling, that that's not a good thing. I get that. But. Still, though, I mean, you. you I, I promise you there, there is something out there. I wish I could tell you what it is, but the reality is now that you are your own. And this is this is the reality that I had to, to face when I was on my own. I had to determine my own fate. And the only person that was able to make that choice was me. Yeah, people, yeah. you know, wanted to communicate with me and talk to me and get to know me. Sure, that's great and all. But the reality is what I chose and what I'm, I, 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 I choose in my life is very dependent on what I want. That was my promise when I left the PD was that I would actually prioritize me mm -hmm. before anything else. And I did. And it's crazy because uh, it allowed me to kind of find my path. It took